Today we're going to show how to align the magnetometer. At this point, you should already have your magnetometer mounted somewhere in the wing or in the aft section of the fuselage away from all ferrous metal. Uh, in the belly of the plane, near landing gear, strobe lights is not a good place or near autopilot servos. It's critical that the label be pointed straight up and the connector be pointed forward. In the RV-10 here, it's mounted to this bulkhead right about here inside. At this point, we've pointed our aircraft roughly north, just as a convenient reference frame. So the screens are up and running. So what we want to do here is hit EFIS, Settings, More, AHARS, MAGALINE, right here. So press the button. It says alignment step zero. Uh, press start. Okay, now it's going to sit here and it's going to say park aircraft on level surface. We're already there, so I hit continue. Okay, leveling in process. This now takes 78 seconds and it'll count down. Okay, the last step was roughly 30 to 78 seconds. Once it comes up with step three, it says leveling calibration successful. Prepare to turn aircraft in a circle. I'm going to hit continue. And now what it's going to do is an iron calibration. This will take approximately a minute, up to a minute. So what you want to do is just hold the aircraft still and wait a minute. At the same time, we want to prepare to start turning the airplane at the next step. Okay, it says, now please turn aircraft in a circle. So now what we're going to do is turn the aircraft in a circle. Okay. This is roughly the speed you want to turn the airplane. And it'll be one circle, and it'll actually say on the screen when to stop. And approximately, roughly at one circle, it'll say on the screen, stop turning. So keep going, keep turning. There, stop turning. Okay, once it says stop turning, now what it'll do is it'll spend roughly a minute and calculate those points. After that, it probably will require one or two more turns. So we'll see after 60 seconds here. Okay. Iron calibration finished. Now point aircraft to magnetic north. What you want to do at this step is just a verification. So you should turn it until the DG is pointed to 360. Perfect, right there. Okay, once it's pointed to 360, hit continue. Or roughly within five degrees. This actually isn't calibrating, it's just verifying. So it's not going to offset it at all. It'll take 68 seconds. At this point, we should be finished. So we'll see what happens after this test. Okay, it says magnetometer calibration successful. Hit return. At that point, we're finished. Our magnetometer align message is off the screen and we should be good to go. We'll go ahead and turn off the power.